So I'm Nathan Huntoon, and this is a student of mine, Austin, and he's bringing out the elephant. So we are here to actually demonstrate more than just a robot, what actually happens, we're here to demonstrate good and high expectations. And so this robot that you see right here is actually something that was developed 100% by students working in my lab at SMU. And by students, I'm talking about 17 through 20 year olds. So not that much older than you are. Freshmen in college, sophomores in college, with actually a huge emphasis on the freshmen. So very, very short period of time. So in my lab, what we actually do is we, I give my students very challenging problems and say, you have 10 days to solve them. And so what this is underneath, uh, standing right in front of me, this is actually three 10-day long projects. So now this is a truck that you can control from a cell phone. Now nobody in this theater wanted that hovering UAV to crash more than me and Austin <laughs> because he was showing off a cell phone driven hovercraft. But like I said, this is a demonstration in high expectations. We had 15 students working in three 10-day long chunks. None of the students actually worked on multiple projects, and they were able to build this from nothing in only a total of 30 days. There were more than 30 days worth of meetings involved in developing similar technologies. So with that, I'm actually going to hand it over to Austin, and he is going to describe what it is that you are seeing, and then he's going to drive it around a little bit on the stage up here for you all. So I'm going to pick it up so that way we can have some good visuals of it as he walks us through what is on the elephant. All right, as Dr. Huntoon said, I'm named Austin Hodges, and I'm currently a junior at SMU. And I first got involved with the innovation gym in my sophomore year when I got an email from him asking, hey, do you want to design a controllable UAV that you can easily do from a cell phone over Wi-Fi? So being a sophomore, I thought to myself, this has to be impossible. There's no way that yeah. <laughs> there's no way that a bunch of uh, undergraduates can come together and design this in 10 days. Well, thankfully, they decided to design it in four different IDEs, so we broke it up over 40 days instead. But during the first phase, we actually developed the cell phone application, which we used to control it. So we had to do everything from learn the basic SDKs, because none of us ever done any cell phone programming before. So we had to learn all that and do the application, dealing with like live time video streaming and all that just in 10 days. Uh, for the second phase, they actually designed what you see here. So this is our ground testing vehicle because we don't want to actually test all of our code on an aerial vehicle because if you crash it, bad things would happen. So uh, anyone here ever have an RC car when they're a little kid? That's all this is. The bottom of this is an RC car that we took and stripped down put on our own custom casing to prevent it from rolls or anything like that, added in a small computer as well as a HD security camera and an old board router. And uh, with all that commercial products, we were able to actually design this project in just 10 days. Uh, the fourth phase, which we have not yet completed, is where we're going to take what we currently have and place it onto an actual UAV. So we drive around and basically a whole interface, you tap locations on a map, and it will actually drive itself there. So there's no manual controls needed. It does everything by itself. So tap a location, it goes to that location and sends live video back. Now, unfortunately, we can't demonstrate that capability because inside this wonderful building, there's no GPS signals. And so instead, Austin's actually going to drive it around manually from the phone. Go faster than that, come on. Ah! So as Austin said, the long-term goal of this is actually to put it on something in the air. And we're actually doing this because Lockheed Martin is interested in giving troops who serve in the military control of airplanes when they're actually fighting in places like the city. So right now when uh, our troops are fighting, a lot of the air assets are actually driven from places like Las Vegas or maybe remote vans. And so there's a lot of time delay in there. Did it die? Or did no, you stop? Oh, um, okay. I, can... I thought you were just going to keep driving. Uh, and so our, where our goal is actually to be able to give our troops a phone that they will then be able to use to drive the air assets in their area. And so with that, I think we would like to thank you, and we're going to probably have this around, and if you'd like the opportunity to drive it until the batteries die, maybe after we're done, we can find a spot to do that at. So thank Definitely you. Can.